Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload the building assets into the central land. This is going to be really easy and really quick. So for, for the very first step you need to click on the builder link directly on decentralland.org. Once you're there, you should be able to create a new scene. So for most of you who do have one plot of land, you will be creating a one by one scene. So you can click on the plus, name your scene, whatever you want to name it. Click next and then select here one by one for a single plot. It will then create a blank scene for you, which we can then use to deploy the building on. Now let's quickly wait for everything to materialize here on screen. Here we go. Now you do have the existing asset packs here in the menu on the right, and you will have to create a new asset pack before uploading the, um, the building assets into. So you click on the plus here and you can now start uploading the files. You will probably have already extracted the files onto your desktop. And then what you can do is just drag and drop the files from the folder that they're in directly into this field here. So on the second screen, I am selecting the files. Just bear with me. Select all minus two files. Here we go. It's gonna take a moment for those to transfer when you do this for the very first time. Let's give it a moment. And as soon as the files show up here, and these are all of the files in the zip file, you can just import all of the assets into the central end. Now I would recommend to name your asset pack something intuitive. I'm just gonna call it SG for Square Gallery. I'm gonna create this new asset pack. Well, it doesn't like the fact that it's only two letters, so let's just add something to it. Oh, the button is grayed out, so we'll probably have to do this trick. Hold on, go back, and now the button is active again. So let's create the asset pack. It's going to take a little moment, and now we should be able to find the newly created asset pack here at the very bottom with the building components in the menu on the right. And uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Now we can go about actually putting the components together into a complete building and we can do this right away. Let's get to it. What you can do is to just, you know, click on every asset here to load them into the scene. But I would start with the very first SG1 component that is the actual foundation. And you can add the stairs, which is G5. After this, I will add the intermediate platform for the second floor. And um, and then I will add the component, the shell component at the bottom. And here we go, we already have the very first floor. Now this has been really easy because the way that I saved the assets before exporting those into these GLB files was that they sit right in the right spot. This is not going to be as easy for the second and the third floor, but it's going to be almost as easy. So let's add another platform here. So now we have two platforms sitting here in the on top of each other. So we'll have to move one of those up a little bit. Now you will not know how far up to move it. So in order to know that, I would recommend adding some kind of additional asset here that takes that spot. So as you can see, we will have to move this a little bit further up and right about here so you can do this in a lot of detail maybe take a couple of minutes to do this right once you have that up we can maybe add a second stairs because we only have one object for these stairs but they're identical so instead of adding it i will just select the existing one here at least that is the plan hold on yes and now i will duplicate this object with this button and now I will move it up to the second and third floor and I'll make sure that these steps nicely lined up here with the platform 
and then they should actually fit just nicely everywhere. You will probably have to make a couple of millimeters of adjustments once you see it in world, but most of the time this will work out quite smoothly. And now let's see what we can add. Maybe, actually, maybe we can, you know, just use the glass shell and move that module into the last floor here, something like this. And now we can also put on a roof element, which is the SG-11 module. We will have to move it in position as well. Sometimes you have to, you know, click onto a different button and back to the original button to make it work. This is a bit of a quirk, a bit of a uh, strange little bug sometimes. So I think this is one way of putting together this building. Of course, you can configure it differently. You also do have a round set of modules. Now, one thing you have to know is that the round set of modules takes a lot of resources because curves require more resources on the triangle level. Right now, we are using about half of the triangles that we could use for the scene. The same elements with the round version would be taking you to around 9,000. And if you only have 1,000 triangles left to deploy inside the building, you will have some difficulties adding a whole lot of stuff into the building. So ideally, I would recommend for everyone only having one plot of land to use the square version. If you want to put in a lot of stuff into your building, and if you you can also mix modules and you know the creativity options are unlimited here and as soon as we have more modules available in more colors and with more designs this is going to be a whole lot of fun guys i think you know now how to deploy this building i will leave it at that thank you very much for your time enjoy it and we stay in touch take care